little while ago, I saw this video of a cross vertical ball joint with three degrees of freedom. I wanted to create the joint in the on shape, and all the shape, although the shape looks complex, it can be done in a few easy steps. Instead of creating each of the small spikes on the joint individually, we just have to create these two shapes, one with ridges horizontally and one with ver uh, one with ridges vertically, and take the intersection between the two. The resulting geometry will be the gear joint. First, we have to start off with a regular gear. Instead of making one from scratch, let's use a feature script. Feature scripts enable us to create our own custom tools, saving us time. Let's first enable the spur gear feature script. We can come on over to feature script examples and add the spur gear. The icon will appear in the upper right corner when it's been added. First, we're going to create a new spur gear with 36 teeth. Once that's done, we're going to come to the back and create a new sketch on the back face of the spur gear. Then we'll be using a new feature called Use, which will extract the sketch from the spur gear. Once that's done, we can hide the spur gear so we're just looking at the sketch. Come back to the front. Now we have to create our two axes, one horizontal and one vertical. Create two lines splitting the gear horizontally and vertically. Hit OK on your sketch and move on to the revolve feature. Click these two sections and revolve it across the uh, vertical axis to create the uh, geometry with horizontal ridges. Next, we're going to hide part two and we're going to reveal the sketch again. We're going to come back to the revolve and now we're going to do the intersection on the top two pieces across the horizontal axis. We're going to do intersect and we're going to intersect it with part two. When we hit OK, it's going to take on shape a moment to compute. When all is said and done, we can show part two again and we can see all the little spikes on our cross vertical gear joint. And that's a complex part made simple. If we're interested in seeing how long this took to compute, we can come to the timer uh, icon and we can show that the slowest feature, the Revolve 2, actually took 14.88 seconds.